you ever had one of those days where you figure something out on your computer and you're so stoked about it and you're like, yeah, nobody knows about this but me, I'm cool, you all suck. And then, of course, you find out everybody already knows. What the freak? So I had one of those days just the other day, but it wasn't as disappointing as everybody knowing. I didn't really find any videos on YouTube about this. I found a couple blogs though by do doing a Google search. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to run multiple accounts. Like if you have two Facebooks, two MySpaces, two Twitters, two or more of any account, I'm gonna show you how to run those in both Google Chrome and Firefox, okay? They differ a little bit. There are other ways of doing this. You know, of course you can run multiple web browsers, which nobody wants to do. That's why I'm showing you this video. I've been told that you can do it in Opera, the web browser Opera by setting up different profiles. I know you can do it on the PC. I've never really seen it done on a Mac though. And I've heard you can also do that same thing in Firefox. There's also an add-on you can get for Firefox called IE View, which allows you to run Internet Explorer in a Firefox tab, but that only works. That does not work with Mac OS X. And there's also Prism, okay, which Firefox has actually turned into an add-on. You can download both Prism and the Prism, the add-on for Firefox. Prism is pretty much like Fluid, only it sucks. If you don't know what Fluid is, I got two videos, how to use Fluid.app and how to use Fluid Part 2. Click on the links down there at the bottom of this page to go check out those videos. So if you know any other ways of doing this, any ways that you like better than the one I'm going to show you, or just any way at all, just comment down below, let us all know, we'd love to know. So first I'm going to show you how to do this in my default web browser, my favorite web browser, Google Chrome. See I have Google Chrome down here open on the dock and I have two different windows open. First one I have here, we'll go to Farmville, okay? You see I'm running it just in a normal window. I got Farmville. See I'm at level 22. We go to MySpace. Hello, the more I think about it. This is one of my MySpace accounts. We go over here to YouTube. Here's my Dmanian33, which is what you're watching this video on. Okay, I have two MySpaces, I have two Facebooks, and I have two YouTubes. I want to run those in Google Chrome. I don't want to have to open up a new web browser to do this. How do I do it? Well, it's simple. Here's a feature I'm sure you all know about in Google Chrome, but this is how you do it. What you do is go up to File and you go to New Incognito Window. What that does, Incognito actually kind of acts like a separate web browser. It doesn't store the cookies, and so it manages the cookies a little bit different. So you're able to run different accounts because the cookies aren't saved in each window together. They're, they're stored differently. So I go down to this one, my other YouTube one. You see here it is in an incognito. And you can tell the difference always, whether you got pop-outs or multiple windows, you can always tell the difference between which one because you notice this one has like a bluish gray and this one has, mine's a black. I mean, you can set the theme, yours would be a different color, but mine's black. So if you set your theme so it's not a bluish gray, you can always tell by the bluish gray. And now you see I got two, two different YouTube accounts here. You got my Dmanian33, which is the tech channel you're watching now. And I got my Mr. Dmanian, which is all my home videos and stuff. You can go check it out if you want. There will be a link in the info box. Although the quality is not that good, it's recorded using LG Envy Touch and the LG Envy 3. There are a couple funny ones on there, though. And you see here's my Farmville. Here's my Farmville. Two different Farmvilles. This one I got covered in snow. This one I got covered in grass. 155 coins, 102 coins. Level 20 on this one. Level 22, and there's my level 21 right there, my level 22 right there. So you can see they're totally different. Same with my MySpaces. Two totally different MySpaces. Okay, you can chat between each other if you like. Your different counts. If you want to talk to yourself, be my guest. Go ahead. You can talk to yourself. It's fine. Nobody's going to know. You heard the beep. There it goes. It's over here. Hey, what's up, dude? That's exactly what I typed. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up, dude? So, how much? Comes over here. It does say that this user is offline, this one on the left, but I mean, it's not so, it does work just fine. So, um, you can also pop these out if you want. Pop out your instant messengers. And again, it's the same thing. You want to know which one belongs to which. This one's a bluish gray, and this one's black. So you can always tell the difference. You can still talk. And comes up over here. So it works just fine. I've had no problems with it at all. 
Only thing I notice is if you're using the Facebook chat, you only get the sound on one of them. You say, hey, dude. You heard it popped over here. So I'm going to come over here to this one. There's my new message. And you hear it didn't pop over here. That's the only thing that I found that didn't work seamlessly. I mean, everything else, it just works. Okay? That's how you do it in Google Chrome. You can only do two accounts in Google Chrome. You can't run three accounts. You can only run up to two accounts in Google Chrome. Just remember that when you're using incognito mode, um, it's not saving any of your history, your download history, or the websites that you visit, or anything like that. As soon as you log out of this window, it's going to delete all that. So if you want to visit a site and you want to save it in your history, make sure you do it in your normal window because this one will save it. The best way to do this in Firefox is to download an add-on called Cookie Pie. I'll put the link in the info box so you can go download it. If you go to your normal add-ons for Firefox, you see add-ons.mozilla.org, and you search for Cookie Pie, no results found. It's not here. Okay, You have to get it from their website. So there will be a link in the info box. So Firefox differs from Google Chrome a lot. Two advantages Firefox has over Google Chrome is that you can run all of these in one window. You don't have to open up different windows to run your different files. And you can also run, I believe, as many as you want. I mean, I've only tried up to three. You see we got one YouTube there, that's Dmanian, 33. Another YouTube here, that's Mr. Dmanian. And I got another tab for YouTube where I could sign in if I wanted to, if I had another YouTube account. So in Google Chrome, you can only do two different accounts of each one. And in Firefox, with the add-on cookie pie, you can probably do as many as you want. Don't quote me on that, but I, obviously you can do more than Google Chrome. And you can run them all in one window. You don't have to open up two different windows to do this, which is very nice. Okay, so I have one MySpace running here. I have one YouTube channel. Okay, if I want to open up my second MySpace and my second YouTube channel, after I've installed cookie pie, you go up to tools and you can see cookie pies right here. If you need help or anything, discussion group, cookie pie website, it's all there underneath your tools. What we can do then is open up a new tab, right click on the tab, we go to toggle on off cookie pie. We'll click on that, and then we can just type in the website we want to go to. And we want to log in. We can go ahead and do the same thing for YouTube. We'll come over here, press tab, right click, toggle on off cookies. Every time you open up a new tab that you want to be different from the other ones that you want to run a new account on, you want to make sure you right click on it and go to toggle on off cookie pie. And then you can go to your address bar and put in your website. You can do this with tabs that are already open as well. You're going to go to YouTube. Okay, you can do sign in. Now one thing that you're going to notice, it's supposed to have the cookie pie logo up in the tab. It actually doesn't. Instead, it has two X's. Okay, so that shows you, you get two X's, and if you click on this one, it doesn't work. Okay, so don't get scared. It's not gonna work. This one only has one. There's one YouTube channel. The other YouTube channel has two. If I want to open up a new one. Same thing. Third one. Toggle on off cookie pie. YouTube.com. And there you see it lets you sign in. And this one also has two little X's. Keep in mind that if you're doing this in Firefox, it does have some bugs. If you want to open up a new window, say I want to open up this home page, a new window, I click open a new window. It did it, okay? But that's because I'm at the one with the one X. If I go to the one with two X's and I click home, open link in new window, it's actually going to open up the other account. So you kind of got to know what you're doing here. And I just told you. Same with this one. If I wanted to open it up in, in my new home folder, you see I clicked on Mr. Demanian to, to open in a new window, and it opened up Demanian 33 because Demanian 33 is the one right here that has the 1x. So just keep that in mind. Another thing that I noticed if I'm in I if I'm in MySpace and I'm trying to talk. You notice this one, the, the IM doesn't work. I have had it to work, but something always goes wrong. So, I mean, I'm sure there's ways around these. just wanted to inform you of this. So, I just wanted to let you know that there are going to be some bugs. Okay, this thing's not 100% perfected. I like Google Chrome because it does it out of the box. So, if you like Firefox better than you like Google Chrome, there you go. You can do it in either one. Your choice. 
Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.